Christian Panucci has described his last gasp winner for Italy against Scotland as the most important goal of his career. The AS Roma defender arrived in the area in the 91st minute to head home Andrea Pirlo's free kick to send the world champions through to the European Championship finals next summer thanks to a 2-1 victory. The 34-year-old won his place back in the squad after missing out on last year's World Cup finals and now hopes to cap a great year by helping his club to success in Serie A. The Gialarossi are currently joined third in the table, three points behind leaders Inter. However, the veteran fullback is confident that with captain Francesco Totti back from injury, the club from the capital can obtain maximum points from their visit to Genoa next weekend in game day 13. Coach Luciano Spalletti also expects to have midfielder Simone Perotta and defender Philippe Mexes fit for the trip. Javier Zanetti became Argentina's most capped player when he made his 116th appearance for his country in the World Cup 2010 qualifying victory over Bolivia on Saturday. It was a proud moment for the Inter captain, who helped his side to a 3-0 victory and the evergreen 34-year-old maintained he still had plenty more years ahead of him, both at international and club level. The veteran has adapted to a midfield role under Nerazzurri coach Roberto Mancini following the arrival of right-back Douglas Baikon at the club and has given the side further options in an area of the pitch where the defending Serie A champions have been blighted by injury. In fact, Zanetti's record-breaking feat was tempered by the news that Esteban Cambiasso is set to add to Inter's injury woes. The 27-year-old was stretched off with a knee problem against Bolivia and now joins Patrick Vieira, Dejan Stankovic and Luis Figo on the sidelines for an extended period of time. Cagliari are set to sweat their way out of trouble if the first week of new coach Nedo Sanetti's reign is anything to go by. The veteran returned to the club he was in charge of last season after Marco Giampaolo was sacked following a 3-0 home defeat to Sampdoria which left the Sardinians languishing at the foot of the table. Defender Michele Ferri revealed the 63-year-old had been putting the squad through a vigorous workout in preparation for the clash with AC Milan at the weekend. The 26-year-old also explained there will be a number of tactical changes under the new regime and with the Islanders already conceding 18 goals so far this season, the defence will be tightened up. Both Ferry and left-back Cristiano Del Grosso will be concerned more with defending rather than getting into forward positions along the flanks, while the likes of midfielders Daniele Conti and Pasquale Foggia would have to be more aggressive in providing support to striker Robert Aquafresca. Franco Brienza has an opportunity to build on his recent good form with Palermo when the striker is handed a starting place against Juventus next weekend. The 28-year-old is set to partner Brazilian Amaury in attack following a positive performance in the 2-1 win over Napoli on game day 12. The pair have only started together twice this season so far against Torino and Parma. However, with the tall imposing Amaury back from suspension, coach Stefano Colantuano feels that Brienza's lively movement and darting dribbles are the key to unlocking what is a mean Juve defence. Brienza came on as a late substitute to score in the 3-3 draw at Genoa on game day 11, where Amari hit a late equaliser, but the former Italy international is now set to step out of the shadows in what is a crucial period for the Sicilians. <laughs> 